Hey guys, Michael here. In this video, we're going to look at some basic stuff in Photoshop. So let's get right into it. We're going to go File, New at the very top of the page or the screen. Make sure you are following along with me. And so pause the video anytime you need to to follow what I'm doing. I'm going to make the size of my document say 20 centimeters by, I don't know, 12 or 15. Let's just say 12 centimeters. Centimeters, not pixels. Okay, that's a bit small, so we zoom in, Command Plus. Okay, first things first, we're on our background layer. We want to get off our background layer, really important. So let's select down the bottom here, you'll see this um, thing here that says Create a New Layer. So we we'll click on that, and now we're going to work with our first layer. Now we're going to get our Lasso tool. This tool over here is for selecting objects so or selecting an area so I'm going to draw and you draw along with me a basic stick figure that looks a bit like one of those paper cutout characters you might have done once before okay there is our stick person we're going to get our fill bucket now there's my fill bucket there, however, you probably will notice that yours is yours will have the gradient tool sitting here. So what you need to do is click and hold your button for half a second to select the paint bucket tool. That's what we're going to use. Now we're going to fill that color, that selected area in. So I've got the blue selected, that'll do. And now I have a blue um, little person. Now I've selected the move tool. I can move that around if I want to. Just happy with it there. Uh, if to deselect it, I just select one of the other select tools, either that one or that one, and just click anywhere, and you'll notice that it stops doing that little thing it's doing. Okay. Now with back to the move tool. If I click on my keyboard, the Alt key, notice how the arrow changes. Click on Alt and drag. I now have a copy and you look down here you can see that we've got layer one which has got that little guy there this one and layer two is a separate layer with this on it they're not on the same layer they're separate now I'm going to get the bucket and recolor it a different color I want you to do the same let's go green or something right that's good and we're going to copy that again so alt click drag drop all with the alt key pressed down at the same time one smooth motion now I have another layer um, really they should be called layer 2 and layer 3 you can call them whatever you like in fact you could call this one blue this one will go green and this one will make it purple okay let's change this one to purple click on our color palette let's go up to purple that'll do get our bucket click on that and there we have our three characters okay what we're going to do now is we're going to add some grass so we're going to go down to the new layer click on that here's our new layer and I'm going to get the square select tool or not square rectangle whatever you call it and I'm going to draw an area the size all the way to the bottom of that and so that whole bottom area is selected go back to my color palette I'm going to pick a grassy color that looks pretty grassy to me okay and I'm going to fill that in boom problem <coughs> excuse me problem is the grass is in front of our little guys and you'll notice that because it's on the top layer so just grab that drag it down one two three I can do that in one go but I'm just showing you how that works I can't drag it below the background so that's fine then I want to deselect it by selecting another select tool and un just clicking somewhere and that is I was going to say that's it but it's not it we've got some more to do I want to put a face on these guys so I'm just going to get the eraser and make sure I'm on the right layer so I want to select my blue guy and I'm just going to 
click on that a few times and give him a mouth as well. I think his mouth's a little bit fat. I want to make that eraser tool a little bit more sharp. It looks a bit fuzzy. That's better. Oops. And I'm going to resize my eraser brush down pretty small to do the mouth. Maybe make it a bit bigger. That's using the square bracket tools. Okay, now if I want to do the face here, why isn't it working? Because I haven't selected that layer. So I go back to that. I guess I was a bit bigger. Yep, and make it a bit smaller. Oh, too small. Give him a smile. And let's go to the third one. I can just click on these by the way, I don't have to, I can select layers here or I can just click on the objects. So now purple, oops, and let's get the eraser again, let's put his mouth in, put his eyes in. What I'd like to do with the purple guy also is flip him around, there's a few ways to do this. I can just do that and then move it back. That's pretty good actually. Oops. Oops. Or if I want to be a little bit more precise, I can go up to the um, edit menu. Oh, let's just apply that. Go up to the edit menu under transform. I can flip horizontal, boom. That's a little bit more precise. Okay, I think that's about it. If I want to put in a sky as well, let's just chuck in another layer, one more layer, and let's just fill the whole layer with blue, a light blue for sky. Interesting blue. I don't know, something like that. Let's get the bucket. Oh no, you might say it's all gone. No, it's not. It's just the layer at the top. I'll just drag that down. If I go there, there's a problem. We want to go one more and there we go. Now let's just say you want to fill in those faces white again. So let's create a new layer down here. Let's drag that up for now. Let's get the ellipse marquee tool, which is for selecting and Let's just draw that and let's fill that in with white. Yep. Let's do another one. Uh, make sure, let's go on the same layer. Okay, and then we get that. Fill that in. Deselect. Reselect. Yeah. All right. So we've got our three circles drawn. Let's move that layer down below. There we go. That's pretty cool. Happy with that? All right, so I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, just make sure you do explore all the different things about layers. Remember you can hide layers by clicking on the little eye there. Good luck. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.